the Oscars. A night full of glitz and glamour, and also violence and scandals. Oh, wow! Yeah, I could make a whole video about that. It's where actors, directors, and the film crew can be rewarded for their tireless hours on set. But who is Oscar? And how did he get trapped in that little gold statue? One day, the Academy of Motion, Pictures, Arts, and Sciences held a dinner and tried to come up with a way to increase the quality of film productions. Why don't we hold an awards ceremony? Yeah, and hand out little gold men. Well, that's not exactly what happened, but still, a weird concept even back then. A boldly mustached man by the name of Cedric Gibbons came up with the original design for this little famous man. He drew a knight holding a sword with a roll of film on the bottom. The sword was to show the advancements for the industry, and the five rolls of film were for the five branches of the Academy. But instead, George Stanley, the sculpture of the Oscar, was jealous of Gibbon's full head of hair and awesome mustache. So he went ahead and changed the design to be more realistic and clean. This was the first Oscar, and the design hasn't changed since. So. Back to the original question, who is Oscar? There are many speculations as to why it is called an Oscar. Maybe it's because the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Science Merit Award was just too long of a title, but that's just my opinion. Some say that Margaret Herrick, who served as the Academy's first executive director, said, hey, that looks like my Uncle Oscar. Which, if your Uncle Oscar looks like that, I've got some bad news for you. So the nickname of the Oscar was born, and the first ceremony was held on May 16, 1929. Since then, 3,000 little gold uncles have been held out to many deserving people whose work was recognized by the Academy. The Oscar is an international symbol of excellence and talent, and we all owe it to a man with a wonderful mustache and a lady with a very weird looking uncle. <laughs>